taking you out. It's really the threes. Oh yeah. Shoot. It, was like, <laughs> it wasn't that horrible for the twos. I mean, she had terrible days, but she turned three and oh my planta. <laughs> Something <laughs> broke. All right, I think we're live. We are, yay. Okay. Let me just get this going, all the wonderful administrative stuff, <clears throat> and get it recording. <clears throat> okay, we are set. Uh, welcome to another Oily Fireside Chat. I'm so happy to be back. I missed you guys the last couple weeks. Um, I see Michelle is watching us. Hi, Michelle. Glad you could join us. Um, we're now live, so if any of you want to share it, it should be up and going. Um, I appreciate um, Tessa and Anne and Janelle for keeping things flowing so that all of my oily friends could keep watching you guys. I was just dealing with a little medical thing and everything is okay now and I'm back, but um, it was really nice to have friends to pick up the slack for me, if you will, while I was healing and resting. Um, and I'm just glad to have my oils connection again. <clears throat> it's like um, our hobby coming on here every week. <laughs> um, okay, so I always have my notes because if I don't have my notes, I forget. Um, make sure when you pop on to say hi to us because we don't want to just talk to ourselves and we do that fun prize drawing. Uh, tonight we have a really big one because we're playing catch up for the last couple of weeks and some of you have multiple, multiple entries on our big prize wheel. Um, but we don't know if you're live unless you say hi. So if you're watching us live, so make sure you say hi and um, remember, we're super passionate about getting oils and natural products in everybody's home. So we are like, it makes our day when you share our video with your friends, because um, that's really what we're hoping is to just um, educate others about natural products. So hit that share button right now, put it on your page. We love it. If we're chatting about something and you have questions, we are watching our live feeds. So feel free to post them. Um, in the Facebook Live and we will try and address them. We all have apps on our phones to look stuff up in real time, but if we can't find the answer for you, we promise we will address every single question and get back to you. Um, did I forget anything? I don't think I did. Just that if they tune in with Zoom, these videos are posted on YouTube, so you have it automatically selected for no video and no sound for their privacy if they should wish it. Yes, I forgot that. Thank you for the reminder, Tessa. Awesome. Um, do we want to kick off with a prize right away, our big mega prize wheel from all our likes and shares last time so that I can start adding live attendees? Let me... Sure. I hope to goodness that. my <laughs> computer does not like... Let's see if I can figure out how to share my screen. Share screen. Um, why? Oh, here. There we go. Okay. This is a big prize wheel. Can you guys see it? Yes? Okay. So we, this is for our likes and comments and shares the last couple of weeks. A lot of you are on here multiple times. So good luck to everybody. Um, we'll get our prizes in the mail. Who won? Jordan. Congrats, Jordan. Now I have to figure out how to stop sharing my screen. There we go. Um, and as you guys pop on and say hello, I'll be adding new names to the wheel. Um, I saw that we had like seven people watching before, but I only see one comment on my side. So um, near the end, Tessa, you'll have to let me know, um, and Anne and Janelle, who might be um, watching that I can't quite see. Um, okay, so tonight we're talking about 
getting oils and products on a budget because we've been kind of doing this series, right, about ditching the crap in your house. Um, I like to be really blunt and there's a lot of crap and a bunch of products that are on our shelves. Um, so we talked about some DIY recipes. Um, I know that Tessa updated me that you guys talked a lot about some of the dangers and like why um, we have chosen to swap out um, toxins for Young Living products. And speaking of which, we've got a mega prize giveaway going on right now. Um, we all have a prize in this. And we are so, so passionate about knowing better so that you can do better. So on each of our pages, we've posted um, a prize where you can go on and we've challenged you to open up your cupboard, find a product that you use and like that is an everyday run of the mill product you got from the store look up some of the ingredients that are on there and Google the word dangers of. So for example, if you have sodium lauryl sulfate in your shampoo, you would Google dangers of sodium lauryl sulfate and post in the comments what comes up. Um, this is an awesome prize, you guys. This is just one of them. It's four roller balls in here. Um, so it's worth it. If you haven't taken like five minutes to do that, you should totally do that. Um, and I promise you, as soon as you see some of the stuff that pops up on Google, you're going to be watching these lives again to get all of our recipes so that you can swap your stuff out. Okay, I'm gonna stop yapping and um, to whoever wants to pop in and just talk about um, how you have learned to budget and be frugal with your oils um, purchases so that we can give everybody tips. The biggest thing I hear is that oils are too expensive. I am sure that the three of you have heard that as well. So we just wanted to open our hearts and just talk from our hearts about what we've done to learn how to be able to get our oils um, affordably. I can jump in first. I volunteer. Um, so I'm not sharing anything specific like, oh, Windex is $3.49 at Walmart, but Thieves Household Cleaner is only 79 cents. Like I'm not sharing anything like that tonight. Um, because my oils journey started from a medical standpoint, I'm kind of going with the medical cost savings with Young Living. I would like to stipulate and put out there that I am in no way suggesting that you cut any medications. I am in no way suggesting that you stop doing anything your doctor has told you to do. I am in no way saying that oils are superior to our current medical staff or their advice. Um, by all means, be your own advocate and look things up. If something doesn't sound right, you should probably look it up. Um, what I am saying is that I've done some research on medical costs in the US. And I was one of those people with significant medical costs pre Young Living. So, so just some stats that I found, cause you know, I research everything and I like to read numbers. Um, according to the CDC, the 2015 health expenditures per person were nearly $10,000. That's the average per person. Then in 2017, it rose to an average of $10,739 per person. So those were the average medical costs for 2015 and 2017. Now, according to CNBC and one of their articles that they published, Individuals who rely on employer-based insurance benefits are paying an average of $1,242 out-of-pocket costs. So that's stuff that your insurance doesn't cover. That's an average per person. It says that um, employer-based insurance families, um, their average out-of-pocket is $6,015. So that's just, that's um, had an increase of 17% over the past 10 years. 
So I'm kind of like summarizing these articles to keep them a little bit short. But so like a family, and this is three people, two people or more, two people is considered a family plan for insurance. So a family of two thousand of two people all the way up to, I believe your insurance caps out after four kids. So that would be a family of six. So they're going with averages of families from two people to six people. The average out of pocket is $6,000 $6,015 that's out of pocket that's before insurance kicks in or um, that's stuff that insurance doesn't cover. I will tell you that our personal cost for medical things out of pocket before the year before I joined Young Living were over $5,000 just for Luke and I. It was well over $5,000. I'm thinking we were more in that $6,000 range. And that's just for the two of us. After joining Young Living and making some significant health changes, not using sodium lauryl sulfates in my shampoos, not using bleach, not using ammonia in Windex, not using candles and plugins and instead using diffusers, not spraying my counters with crap that says don't ingest and then cutting my strawberries or my pineapple directly on that chemical on my counter. After making those switches, I can tell you that for our family of four, we have been to the doctor's office three times this year. Once was urgent care for Karis. She fell off a chair. Once was for a COVID test to see if we were positive or not, and that was covered by our employer, so it wasn't even an out-of-pocket expense for us. And once was a routine medical checkup required for our insurance for Luke's work. Three times, okay? So let's look at what we pay for essential rewards. As a family, we are very sticklers on our budget. When I first joined Young Living, it was the 50, the minimum $50 a month 50 PV a month for our essential rewards. So that's about $600 a year, add in some shipping and some tax. It was probably around $700 a year. So we went from over $5,000 a year in medical expenses, made significant health and family changes. Again, saving money because we're not buying Windex, we're not buying counter cleaner, we're not buying stove and oven cleaner and drain cleaner. We switched it all over to Thieves. I, I'm comparing 5,000 to 700 for costs. And it, again, the Young Living isn't a medical expense. I'm in no way saying Young Living is, is in trade for medical stuff. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying, if you look at our medical expenses from 2013 to 2014, and the only difference is switching the way we live with Young Living, I think that's a pretty major cost savings from the medical perspective. Again, other factors in there, a few other things to consider in there. No analogy is perfect. There are certain variables, but I can tell you the one change that dropped our, that tanked our medical costs to almost nothing, we joined Young Living and got on essential rewards. I think that's a pretty huge personal testimony for cost savings. So, and, and medical stuff. I mean, who doesn't want to live healthier, less stress for medical issues, less worry for medical issues, less time in the car for medical issues. So that's my little spiel. That's, that's what I've got to say for saving money. How young living saves you money. It saved us literally thousands of dollars, like down payments on houses in medical costs. So that's my spiel for the evening. I think it's very interesting <clears throat> when I see how many people pay money for gym memberships so that they can get exercise and they think they're do I mean, and they're doing that for their health, right? Because exercise is a part of your preventative care. It helps prevent um, obesity. It helps you with weight management. It helps you um, to make your cardiovascular system stronger. And nobody thinks about, you know, a, nobody would argue that a gym membership for 30 bucks is not worth the preventative care that it gives you. Um, I really look at the oils the same way. Like, why are we bothering to get our exercise and try to eat right if we are taxing our nervous system, our limbic system, um, and 
our overall body by putting these toxins in that our body is trying to fight because they're not natural, they're outlawed in other countries. Like we shouldn't have these in our products. It's that simple. Um, so I just, I kind of liken it to the same thing that people do these things for prevention. So I, I consider it like what you're talking about, Tessa, as like a preventative measure. Kind of along those same lines, I have a number of people I know who buy only organic fruits and vegetables, but they use Windex and Lysol and extra for their laundry detergent or Tide. And I'm like, you are spending hundreds of that. And organic is good for you. I'm not disputing that at all. I'm just saying, like, you care about what goes in your stomach, but you don't care about what goes in your lungs or on your skin or on your scalp that's directly correlated to your brain and in your circulatory system. I mean, like, to me, I would care more about the clothes that sit directly on my skin all day or the SLS that has a direct link to my brain every time I shampoo my hair. So for me, if, if I had to choose between doing organic food or doing Young Living oils, I would still pick Young Living oils until I saved enough money to then eat organic as well. I'm that looking would, on that. that I would, would be my thought. I agree with that, yeah. Okay. And I think, I think it basically boils down to, you know, our job as educators is really to point these things out to people because I think a lot of people just don't know. They just, they just don't know. Um, and so that, that alone, you know, really, I think, and the th uh, three of you would also agree with me, I think that it motivates us to be like, oh man, we gotta, we gotta educate, 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 you know, not in a, not in a in your face way, but in a I care about you way. And that's our passion. We care about people. We care about, you know, how can we help you with some of these things, whether it's fitness or, you know, getting on a healthy eating regimen, or, you know, I, I come a, from a fitness background. So for me, I mean, that's, that's like my DNA is fitness. And so putting this together, I'm very passionate about, oh, I, you know, I see things every day where I'm like, oh boy, hmm, no. Did you ever think about trying this instead of this? And this is the reason why. So I think we're, you know, we're definitely um, on the right track, you know, and making sure that you know, our friends and our family and coworkers are, are learning about oils and that they're really not as expensive as people think they are. Um, they're just looking at the upfront dollar costs, not looking at the overall um, in the savings. So that's my little blurb. I'll, you know, I'll chime in from now and again, um, just to add my two cents worth, but um, so I think, I think we're doing, we're on the right track. We're doing a good job. I love that because um, I think about when, like you have someone that you love that smokes, for example, and every time they light up, right, you know, oh, I really wish you wouldn't do that. And I think about how many times people I know kind of go after the people that smoke. I wish you wouldn't smoke. You know, that's going to kill you. You hear that all the time. In a way, that's the place of caring that, that we're coming from when we're saying, please stop using your candles. <laughs> please stop using your plugins. Um, Janelle posted something interesting on her Facebook, a picture of a, a bottle of oil and broke it down into the um, cost per drops. And I got to thinking about on, in the fall time, we all know certain companies have these huge sales on their candles, big tumbler jar candles um, that cost like 40 bucks, okay? I used to buy these candles every season and burn them in my home because it smelled like grandma's kitchen and cinnamon rolls and 
Christmas trees and all that jazz, right? Think about how long one of those candles lasted. If I was burning it pretty regularly, what, maybe a couple weeks? And, and that was doing damage to my lungs, right? There's a lot of not natural stuff in there. And now I think about when I diffuse, I was diffusing lavender all day up here on two drops in my diffuser. Two drops was all I put in. I thought, oh, I just want a hint of lavender. So I put in two drops and I could smell that lavender downstairs as I would come up the steps. Okay, I know that two drops of lavender cost a heck, that when I only use two drops and there's how many in that 15 milliliter bottle? What do they say, a hundred? I believe for a 15 ml, it's 250 drops on average. Okay. Yes. So if, if that's two drops a day for your scent of lavender, that's lasting me a hundred and some days. And a bottle of lavender is less than one of those darn tumbler candles. Like it's a no brainer and it's supporting my health instead of tearing it down. Like, honestly, I'm shocked. Who would ever burn candles when you can just get a pretty diffuser? and oils. Like, I don't know why anyone would choose it. It's so much cheaper and you can make your own scents. You don't have to smell the same cinnamon roll candle day in and day out. You can change it every single day. So even if all you like is pretty smells, just switch because it's cheaper. It's more um, tailored to what you're looking for. I can do Christmas at Christmas. I can do flowers in the spring and I could do all of that with just five different oils probably. Like, it's amazing. <clears throat> and it's way safer too. I mean, like Janelle and I were talking last week, 10,000 house fires in the U.S. alone started by candles just in the fall because people aren't used to burning them all summer and then they accidentally forget about them on their table or their cat knocks them over or their kid gets into it. That's a lot of house fires from candles. For heaven's sakes, for safety reasons, just make the switch to diffusers. <laughs> as, as a former firefighter, please stop burning candles. Um, I have a few points I'm just going to chat about, um, quick. I want to talk about ER for a minute and talk about, um, saving money with a wish list. Okay. Um, listen, I am the kind of person that when I do something, I do it 250%. I jump all in. So as soon as I learned about oils, it was like, okay, I want to swap. I want to go through my house and throw everything in the garbage and be done with it and just switch everything. And if I would have done that, it would have cost me a lot of money outright, right, to do that. But what I did was I took a minute, I looked through the catalog and I created a wish list. So I ended up getting oils and free oils that were on my wish list because I took a minute to just say, okay, what are some of the benefits that I want from oils? What are some of the products that I want to swap out? I made myself a wish list, got organized about it. And then every month I would take my ER order and look at, okay, what's on my wish list that I want? And I would um, do the 50 or a hundred bucks, depending on what my budget was that month and um, fill in that order with what was on my wish list, then I'd cross it off. So I knew, yep, got that, yep, got that, right? Well, here's the thing. Every month on ER, there are also promotions. So my tip for those of you on ER is one, make a wish list so you can get all the oils you want um, for whatever you pay per month. Number two, pay attention to the promos and what is on your wish list compared to the promos. You guys, I think it was last month where they had four levels instead of three, or sometimes they throw in that extra level. For spending, I think it was $350, you got over $240 worth of free stuff. That's like getting stuff half off. And so when, when oils show up on those promos, that are on my wish list, I do the math 
And sometimes I will do a $300 order this month. And then instead of, you know, 100, 100, 100, whatever that number looks like, right? I'm just throwing numbers out here. I will do that 300 and then lower the cost of the other months because it's more cost effective to do it that way and get those um, products on that kind of BOGO deal. When you think about you spend the same amount that you get in free products. So that's a tip that I have for you. Um, and I'm saying that open your mind up more than just, oh, I got my $50 minimum. I'm going to get my 20% or 25% or 10%, wherever you're at back. Be strategic about what's on your list and what promos are coming up. We're coming into Christmas. I guarantee you, we're going to have some promos of probably Christmas spirit, white light, like that stuff's coming up. If it's on your wish list, keep your eyes open for that stuff. Um, that's the best time to get those products. And the other thing I want to say is I have friends who want to buy oils and I add them to my ER order for them so that it helps me get bonuses. And I have friends who do the same. If you have a, a friend, you, and by the way, you're getting the benefit, they're going to pay retail for that if they buy it online. So the retail cost is what they're paying you. Like you're making some money kind of selling these oils without really selling it and getting the benefit on ER. So that is something that you can do to make that commission and not really be in a business to um, educate about oils um, if you don't want to do that. Um, and then the other thing that I wanted to just talk about for a minute is like, I'm not just talking about swapping your dryer sheets, swapping your Windex and swapping your toilet bowl cleaner, right? I mean, when you add those up, I can hear people right now, I pay 350 for Windex, I only pay five bucks for toilet bowl cleaner and I only pay six bucks for my bounce dryer sheets, okay? I want you to think outside the box. How much are you spending on Tums? How much are you spending on ibuprofen? How much are you spending on Tylenol? How much do you spend on Claritin? How much do you spend on nasal spray? How much do you spend on Vicks Vapor Rub? How about Icy Hot? How about um, Advil and aspirin and all of that stuff that you take when you, just for the random, oh, my knees are hurting today. Oh, my head's a little stuffed up. I just need a little something, okay? Those things are expensive. I, you know, I'm super passionate about CBD. You know that I cannot tell you that it can take away any pain. So I'm not going to tell you that, but I will tell you this, what I've had going on recently, I stopped taking CBD. The other day I was coming up the stairs and I'm like, why are my knees bothering me so much? They've been really bothering me. And I looked at the calendar and it was, now, if you remember from health classes when they told you all about the dangers of marijuana and drug tests for marijuana, um, THC and those constituents typically stay in your body for about 30 days. I am telling you, it is not a coincidence that I started noticing discomfort. I started noticing an inability to sleep, some circular thoughts coming into my brain at night as I'm laying there in bed, almost exactly 30 days after my last dose of CBD that I took, okay? So I want you guys to think about if these products can help that preventative measure in our system, how much can putting those toxins around you build up in your system and cause you to rely on these other helpful thing, you know, products that you're buying that are, it's like a toxin causes a headache and then you go and you take a product to fix your headache that could be caused by the toxin around you. Do you see that you're double whammy? You're like double spending money on toxins because you're just not taking a minute to consider some of these preventative measures. And I'm, I'm talking very sporadically here because I'm trying to be very careful not to say things that get us in trouble, right? The FDA really limits what we can say to you. 
I'm just coming to you um, very genuinely and saying like, please just take a minute to think about how much are you spending on those things? Because it isn't just your cleaning products. You aren't just replacing your Windex. You might be replacing the Excedrin that's giving you relief from the headache that you're getting from the toxins that are all around you in your house. Okay, now I'm off my soapbox. <laughs> okay, I'll pitch in a little bit. You guys are, take it away. <laughs> okay, I agree with all of the ladies who have shared before me. I am um, not very analytical, really. I let my hubby do all the number stuff, but I kind of am. Like, I want to know, like, how much is this going to save me? So I'm going to just use lemon because that's an easy one to use. So a, bot, a 15 ml bottle of lemon is 12 bucks, wholesale price. You take that, you divide it by 250 drops. You're paying a little over four cents per drop. Okay, the candles, as Rose mentioned before, the candles that I used to buy in the fall, at minimum, if you wanted like a decent candle that burned for more than two seconds, I mean, you could get a cheap one that would burn for like an afternoon, that was it. But if you wanted one that would burn for more than two seconds, you had to pay like 20 to 40 bucks, depending upon the size. So lemon, I, one of my favorite um, combinations lately, I'll do lemon, lavender, and peppermint. So lemon is like 12 bucks. I know that one's 12. Lavender, I want to say is 25-ish. And then peppermint is about 20. We'll just use like really good, easy numbers. So when you calculate out per drop what you're actually spending, it's so, so cheap. And my diffusers will go for 10, like, well, if I anywhere between six and 10 hours, depending upon the mode that I pick. Six and 10 hours. It's so, so cheap. Okay, I didn't calculate out the peppermint or the lavender, but less than 25 cents a, a time that you do it. I mean, if, if the lemon is four cents, then the other ones are probably like, I don't know, six and eight cents, something like that. Super, super cheap. It's helping you, helping your health is boosting it is supporting your wellness rather than tearing it down. So again, I, although I am a healthcare professional, I'm a nurse by trade, it's my nighttime gig. I am not here to diagnose or treat or give any medical advice. So follow what your doctor is recommending, but also be an advocate for your own health as well. Just like the um, Tessa and Rose and Anne had said before. So. What I see, I'm just sharing with you what I see firsthand is there is a lot, there is more focus on symptom treating than there is on being proactive and preventative in healthcare. That's just how it is. That, it, that's, that is what I see all the time. What's interesting though, when I have a 95 year old little grandma who is on fish oil and like a, one other vitamin. And I'm like, well, what's your secret? It goes back to preventative stuff every single time I get it. Like I get an elderly farmer. Granted, I mean, they've got their own exposure to farming stuff, but I tell you what, those farmers live forever, <laughs> but it's because they invest in their health because they can't miss work. Like they, they can't miss work, so they have to invest in themselves. So it's a huge difference when you are when you act proactively. I this one um, saying says you either are going to pay for your sick care now. You're going to either pay for something. You're going to pay for sick care, or you're going to pay to invest in your health. In the long run, it's better to pay to invest in your health rather than pay for sick care down the road. I can tell you that in the range, uh, healthcare is expensive. The prices of what I know things cost in the hospital are outrageous. I won't give you specific values because I don't know really specific values, but jaw dropping like, oh my gosh, I never knew that cost this much. 
in routine things that I do every day, like blood draws and things like that. I never knew that they cost that much until I found out. And I was like, oh my gosh. So if nothing else, I would really like to echo what the previous, what everybody else said. And it's better to invest in your health in the forefront than it is to invest in sick care later. Um, the other thing that I like to go into soapbox about is Steve's cleaner. Guys, organic cleaner in the floor, uh, organic cleaner in the store, you're going to pay four to five bucks a bottle. Guaranteed. Any organic cleaner in the store, even if it, I mean, even if it does rate like an okay cleaner on ewg.com, it's a great website to go in and plug in ingredients to see what if, you know, what kind of toxicity or whatever. Even if it rates low, four to five bucks per bottle, who can afford that? That's so stinking expensive. Steve's cleaner. 22, 2350 for a 14.4 ounce bottle. And you're going to get like 29, 16 ounce bottles of all purpose cleaner. So when you calculate that, that out, you're paying less than two bucks a bottle. It's safe, it's effective, and you can use it for virtually anything. I use it on everything. Mix that with some of your common household items like baking soda or vinegar or even hydrogen peroxide, and you have a recipe for nearly anything that you can imagine. Okay, that's my soapbox. I'm done. And it now. smells awesome. Your house never smells cleaner than after you use Thieves. It smells so good. <clears throat> Um, I want to go back to what Janelle was saying about um, our senior saints who are on medis medications versus not on medications. I'll never forget the day I was in the back of the ambulance and in the morning I had one, I can't remember if they were siblings or cousins, but they were related. So I was working with two patients that had like a, a similar genetic disposition to things. And the one of them, because when you, when you arrive on scene, you have to ask them like sample your signs and symptoms, your allergies, your medications, your, you know, like that kind of stuff. You have to take a sample history. You can look that up on Google. So one of them is medication. So you have to ask them for their medication list. And the one, I kid you not, the list was as long as my arm, like those little memo pads. It was like six pages of like, I take this at this time. And I take this at this time. And I take this at this time. And I take this at this time. So when we're in the back of the ambulance, we have to ask, okay, like, you know, most of them, like your mainline diabetic medications or high blood pressure medications or blood thinners, like, you know, those off the top of your head, but some of them I'm looking at these and I'm like, what is this for? So I asked her, I was, cause you need to know if they're like interacting with each other or if they're going to interact with any meds you give in the back of the ambulance. So I was asking and she's like, oh, I take that because it counteracts this side effect. And I take this one to counteract the side effects from this one. And I take this one to counteract. So she was taking like two thirds of her list of medications were solely to counteract the side effects of the first third. She really only needed the first third, but two thirds of it were because of side effects from the first one she was taking. And then later in the day, I had the, again, I can't remember if it was a cousin or a sibling, but similar genetic predisposition to disease and illness and such. And she was taking, I think like Janelle said, fish oil and like vitamin C or vitamin B or vitamin D or a multivitamin. Like she was taking two things and both of them were like your natural, just an over-the-counter multivitamin type of deal. And that was it. And I was like, how... What? And both of these women were over 80 years old. I was like, how are you over 80? And like, you're not on any meds, nothing whatsoever. No high blood pressure, no blood thinner. Like those are pretty standard. Once you hit 80, you start to fall apart. And, and I was like, how on earth? And she's like, I've just, I've done really well to like take care of myself. And she said, I stay away from anything that's not good for my respiratory system because respiratory issues run in my family. So I'm really careful about that stuff. 
I wash all of my clothes by hand and I hang them on the line. That one stood with me. I was like, you hang all of your clothes on the line. What are you doing in winter? Um, so that one stuck with me. Um, but think about it. Like she doesn't have the chemicals sitting on her skin all day and then like outgassing in her closet. So it's not hurting her respiratory system or her circulatory system. Um, so that stuck with me. And then she said she eats from her garden as much as possible, which I thought was really good. She says she always washes all of her produce that she gets from the store with hot water. Um, she said she didn't use soap when she washed any of her fruits and veggies, which now knowing what I know about washing fruits and veggies, I will only use thieves fruit and veggie soak. Um, so it was just, it was fascinating that two people from the same family, same genetic predispositions were living two completely different lifestyles. The one lady was in and out of the hospital constantly. I continued to see her with medic calls a lot. And the other one, she was only taking a ride in the ambulance because she had a slip and her son made her go. Aside from that, she was like never in the hospital, like never at the doctor's office, both around the same age, both around the same genetic stuff. It was crazy. I was floored, absolutely flabbergasted. As a paramedic, I was... I was just astounded by these two ladies. I always love that story when you tell that one. <laughs> um, I feel like I would be doing everybody a disservice if I also didn't bring up that one way that all of us get oils on our budget is by doing what we're doing right now, which is telling you about oils. And if you are passionate about using your oils and you have friends or family who are interested in using oils and um, want to get a whole bunch of them for like 50% off, um, we would be happy to show you how you can find a link to share with them so that they can sign up for the Smoke and Hot Deal Starter Kit. There's a new one that just rolled out for the kids. Um, I've, I'm really happy that they brought that out because a lot of people ask me about that one. I know that the Aria Kit is back in stock, right? And when you share your link, um, what is the purchase that you have to have so that you can get, is it 50 bucks? I believe if you spend, if you do 50 PV, which is a minimum ER order, then you get paid $50 when they get their kit. That's your fast start bonus, correct? Yes. Yeah, so your ER order was free when that happens. Like if you know three people that are interested in oils, they sign up each month. You've just got your ER orders for free, right? And if you want to have a class, we will come and teach at a class and your friends can sign up under you. And every friend that signs up, well, I can't speak for all four of you, but that's what I do. Any of your friends, okay, I assume that you guys kind of do something similar. Like if you have a class and you are on ER with me, like I'm so passionate about you getting your oils for free. I will put every single person under you so that you can get that sign up bonus. Like, cause I want you to get your stuff for free. Um, like that's my passion. And even if you're not comfortable with what's going on, having a class in your home, we're happy to teach a class online for you. Like we love doing that. We can send out samples um, in the mail that people can smell what these oils smell like. Like we're happy to do all of that for you. You just have to get on our calendar. And if you don't even want to do that and your mom wants to buy oils, just share your link. Like your next ER order is free. Um, people are losing their jobs everywhere these days, and this might be a good way to replace some of your income. You just talk about what you're doing with oils. It's like that simple. So, yeah, none of us here are formally trained, and some nights it shows because we just kind of <laughs> ramble on. None of us have any formal training with teaching. Like, I ramble all the time. <laughs> each other, and we all, like, we have scripts, people. This is super easy. Like you just read from a piece of paper and share your oil story. That's really all it takes to be a teacher. That and ramble on with a few friends every Tuesday night. <laughs> yeah, you want to join us here and like be a teacher with us? We've got room. There's all sorts of people that can be on our Zoom calls. Like we're happy to have you join us. So I just want to tell you that because I think 
um, people get nervous about hearing about the business opportunity of Young Living. And it's, to be honest with you, an awkward thing to talk about sometimes because we're not trying to recruit you. We're trying to help you get your oils for free because we care about you. We love you. We are passionate about getting the toxins out of your home because we care, right? And if you want help doing that, just ask. We'll figure out a way to get it done. Like, all you have to do is ask. Okay, so this was a couple of years ago. I said to Tessa Farley, I said, Tessa, what would you think if we got your oils for free each month? And she was like, yeah, okay, what do I got to do? And we talked about how she could generally share her experiences with oils and how um, she could just, yeah, genuinely share her experiences with oils and just talk about something that has tran literally, we can't share her story here because it's not compliant and the FDA will yell at us. But if you have a minute, I want you to call Tessa and hear her story. Her story le legit has transformed her life um, from a health perspective. So I said, we just genuinely share with people, share oil, share how they transform your life. That's all you got to do. And we'll get your monthly ER order paid for. And she goes, well, okay. I didn't actually think of it like that. That sounds really easy. I thought there was more involved. And I was like, no, not really. Okay, let's do it. And here we are. Two, three years later. Three, three years oh. later. Tessa, I hope you don't mind me putting you on the spot, but I'm going to follow up with that for a minute here because being close friends, I know that oils haven't just transformed your life from a health perspective. I know that running this, that just talking about young living and sharing oils, right? The way we're sharing it right now, as easy as this is, just posting stuff on Facebook and going into people's houses and telling them your story and about what you do. I believe it's also changed your life financially. And I know that you and Luke are very careful budgeters um, and very good stewards of your finances, right? You follow a financial plan. Some people, I think you follow Dave Ramsey plan, right? Your husband is a Dave Ramsey financial coach, right? So like, that's a pretty strict budgeting plan. And Tessa has been following it to a T, right? So I feel like you should, I'm going to put you on the spot a little bit to just talk about like, oils have changed your life financially too. Like you can make money at this. Um, are you wanting me to share details there? Is that why you're putting me on the spot? <laughs> well, I just feel like we're not giving them all the information. No, if, that's fine. You know what I'm saying? If we don't talk about it, it's like we're keeping the best part from everybody. So you don't, you don't I would like, like to throw in there that when I first signed up, Ann told me, oh yeah, you're going to do this as a business. And I was like, heck no. I don't like talking in front of people. I, I was done talking in front of people when I graduated high school and quit forensics. Like, there's no way. And now look at me, I'm online, <laughs> public YouTube. Um, so thanks, Anne, for believing in me. <laughs> um, so yeah, we Luke is a master financial coach with Dave Ramsey. And so we follow a very strict budget. It is down to the dollar. I have $11 every month in my play money. That's what I get to play with, $11. <laughs> not 12, not 15, not 10, 11. <laughs> so I have to save up if I want something fun that's more than $11. So um, when we first started, it, it very much was like we had to transfer some money, um, not transfer, I had to take money out of my clothing allowance to be able to afford my essential rewards order. Like Luke made me justify exactly where this money is going to be coming from. Um, I also sneaked a little bit of money out of the food budget. I told him that um, I would have pasta one extra night <laughs> a week so that I could afford my essential rewards order. So we made it work. Like it was, it was hard at first. 
Um, but we stuck to it and we made sure that I had enough money to get my essential rewards order and pay for tax and shipping. And it was very worth it. And when we started to see, like I mentioned, those changes in our medical expenses, then it freed up more money for more essential rewards orders, like slightly bigger ones. Um, and it helped, I mean, like not buying candles and not buying all that stuff at Walmart. I mean, Janelle shared the, the cost value of $349 for Windex versus um, when you dilute thieves down to the glass cleaner ratio of like 75 cents. But even at the um, all-purpose cleaner, it's less than $2 a bottle. So that also with our like our household goods budget that also went down and so when we started doing the math I mean okay so Ramsey coach like we kept every Walmart receipt and we highlighted was this a home goods expense was this a clothing expense was this a toiletry expense was this a, a grocery expense all those things we like charted and when we started seeing household goods going down and toiletries going down we were able to transfer so like instead of toothpaste at Walmart it was toothpaste from Young Living. And instead of glass cleaner from Walmart, it was glass cleaner from Young Living. And instead of toilet bowl cleaner from Walmart, it was toilet bowl cleaner from Young Living. And when we started seeing all of those costs go down, probably three to four months of tracking those receipt categories, it was like, oh, Accenture Rewards is way cheaper than buying this crap at Walmart. And then after probably... I want to say six to eight months is when we really started to see medical costs going down um, because my health was improving. Um, I wasn't, I wasn't fully, okay, so like Janelle said, you have to call me for my full medical story. I have to be careful what I share. I wasn't fully done detoxing for about two years. That's really when like medical costs fully tanked. Um, but I had a lot more going on than the average person. Um, so I'm not sure how much more you, you want me to share here. I would just challenge you to take your receipts and really for like a month chart exactly what you're spending. on. Obviously young living doesn't have clothes. So that will, that category on your budget is going to stay the same. Um, groceries, young living actually has some groceries. If you're, if you're interested, we can share with you about young living groceries. Um, <laughs> Those are a little bit pricier than Walmart, but much higher quality. And because of ER and getting your um, wholesale membership discounts, it's it's a fair price. Um, but anyway, I would just challenge you to really, really take a good hard look at your receipts as if you're married to a financial coach who's anal about all things numbers and like really take different color highlighters and highlight the different things of what you're spending and then sit down with the Young Living product guide or ask me for a copy of it. I can go through this with you and really take a look at like our, our costs. I think if I, if I redid the math, it would be half or less like a central rewards. It's sent 50, $50, 50 PV a month sounds like a lot. Where am I going to get an extra $50 a month? And especially with people losing their jobs and all of this crazy crap going on in the world right now, but legitimately it will save you money. I am living proof. I have the papers upstairs. Um, it doing young living saved our family so much money and doing essential rewards is really what, what did that savings for us. If I had just gotten my kit and then done those like big one-time orders, those shop orders, I wouldn't have saved the money that I have. Like I wouldn't have these budget receipts to show you like I do. It was really ER is what saved our family financially um, during those hard times with all of my medical expenses. I love that story. I, I didn't mean to put you on the spot, Tessa, but I feel like you are like living proof that you can do it on a strict budget, right? Like a very analytical budget. It's not just us saying like, yeah, you can do it. Like here's proof that you can. Um, so. And I will vouch for Tessa. She and Luke are like to the penny with their budget. We have a budget as well. However, they take it to a whole new level. So when, when she says they made it work and they still stuck to their budget, 
I guarantee you that's nothing but the truth. So yes, living proof, just like Rose said. Well, we talked people's ear off for almost an hour tonight. We're that passionate about it. So I think we can probably wrap up. Do, does anyone have lives for me to add to the wheel? Live people watching. I have Debbie, Mackenzie, Michelle, and Sue on my end. I also have Wendy. I thought B was on, but I don't see her now. So. Okay. Um, Ann or Janelle, anyone to add? Okay. Let's do our quick. Um, there we go. Our quick giveaway. Can you see it? Awesome. Sue. Congratulations, Sue. We will um, get the prize. It'll either come from me or Tessa. Um, I already have Sue's address. So Tessa, maybe you can do Jordan's prize because I think you probably have Jordan's address and I can do Sue's if that works. Um, okay, we will get prizes in the mail and um, thanks for joining us tonight, you guys. Uh, we'll be here same time same place next week tuesday um left we'll oh we're going to talk about the promo oils next week because new promos come out to not tomorrow um thursday right new promos come out thursday so um we talked a lot about saving money by paying attention to the promo oils and comparing them to your wish list so we're going to teach you about the promo oils um next week uh, and we will all be posting them on our Facebook pages as soon as they go live on Thursday. So watch for that so that you can keep an eye on what we'll be teaching you. All right. See you guys next week. Bye. Have a good night.